Hi, boys and girls. It's time to continue our study on the classes of animals. As you know, we've already studied mammals and amphibians, and so today we're going to add to our list reptiles. So, in order to talk about reptiles, I'm going to read the book about reptiles by Catherine Seal. Pay very close attention because at the end of the lesson, we're going to do a discussion about how amphibians and reptiles are the same and how they are different. So sit back and enjoy the reading of About Reptiles. Reptiles have dry, scaly skin, like the rough green snake. Some reptiles have a hard bony plate, like the eastern box turtle. Reptiles have short legs, like the Texas horned lizard. Some reptiles have no legs at all, like the slender glass lizard. They move by crawling like the five-line skink. or by swimming like the green turtle. Reptiles need warm temperatures like the collared lizard. You can tell why he's called the collared lizard, can't you? They hibernate in cold winter weather like the painted turtle. Most reptiles are meat eaters, like the corn snake. A few eat meat and plants, like the desert tortoise. Some reptiles use venom to capture their prey, like the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Baby reptiles hatch from eggs, like the American alligators. If I were to give my opinion about this picture, those baby alligators are so cute. In some reptiles, the mother carries the eggs inside her body until they are ready to hatch, like the common garter snake. Young reptiles care for themselves as soon as they hatch, like loggerhead turtles. Reptiles are important to us, like the green anole. Now remember, Catherine Seal includes in her books a little bit more information about each picture. Now, I'm going to tell you the picture that I was really, really interested in was this Texas horned lizard. So I decided I was going to go to the back and read a little bit more information about the Texas horned lizard. Texas horned lizards are commonly called horned toads. Their spines serve as protection and their bodies will inflate with air to make it hard for another animal to swallow them. Inflate, like you inflate a balloon. It can blow up. If these forms of defense fail or don't work, Texas horned lizards can squirt a stream of blood from the corners of their eyes to repel predators. Isn't that interesting? I thought so. Lots of interesting facts in there. All right, I want you to be thinking about how we can compare the reptiles to the amphibians. All right, boys and girls, I have a what we call a Venn diagram up here. And I have drawn two circles and I am going to compare amphibians and reptiles. Where my two circles come together, we're going to talk about how they are the same. Amphibians and reptiles are the same because they both hatch from eggs, they both sleep or hibernate during cold weather, and they're both cold-blooded. 
Those are some of the ways that they are the same. Now let's look at amphibians now. Soft, moist skin. Most eat insects. Begin their life in the water or wet places. Change as they grow into adults, like the frog and the toad. If we go over here to the reptiles, the reptiles had dry, scaly skin, which was different from the amphibians. Most of them eat meat which was different from the amphibians. Some have no legs. Some use venom to catch their prey. Oop, I missed. Some have a bony plate. Guys, reptiles, amphibians, and here is the way they're alike. That's very easy to read, isn't it? Because it is put into a Venn diagram. Now, boys and girls, today is Friday and you are going to be just finding your facts. On Monday, you're going to do the page in your booklet on reptiles. Three facts. Woo, yeah, three facts right here. One opinion. Notice how Mrs. Hodge shared that opinion during the reading. And then choose three reptiles to draw and label in your booklet. I hope you're keeping up with your booklets. I can't wait to be able to see what you have been doing. Okay, boys and girls, work hard, have a great weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday. Bye.